Hey guys, um, so if you haven't already seen my other video, which was an update, um, you'll know that this is going to be a vlog uh, about some stuff that's recently come up in my life that's pretty personal, but um, I um, thought it would like help me to talk about it making videos with it, getting other people's input, because I know there's a, a lot of people that are going through the same thing, um, and I could really use their input since this, what I'm about to talk about, is relatively new to me. I've only been able to um, let it, what this, what I've just learned, sink in for about a month, I'd say, and what it is, is um, I... Well, before I start talking about this, I'd have to go back to the beginning and how it led up to what I'm about to say. I know I'm talking in riddles, but you'll understand when I'm done. Um, you know, when was it? I think it was eight or nine months ago. I'm not sure. It was a while back. I'd say almost a year, maybe. I can't really remember. It's been so long, and I try not to really think about it. But I suffered a really bad bout of depression. Um, I, it was really bad. It was the worst I've ever felt in my life. I had thoughts about hurting myself and other people around me. Um, I actually would physically hurt myself to, in an attempt to rid myself of them thoughts. I even had some thoughts about, like, I don't want to say suicide, but because that was that would never be an option for me ever. I don't care how bad I'm feeling. I would never do that to my family. I would, you know, but I guess it was borderline that it was leading up to that, but I was having really bad thoughts and destructive thoughts for myself and for others and I cried every single day, every night. I wouldn't eat, which is so unlike me because anybody who knows me knows I am a, you know, an emotional eater. I eat when I'm happy, when I'm sad. It doesn't matter. I eat when I'm bored. You know, I just love food. So for me to feel that bad and not eat, I just knew that, like, this, there's something wrong. And, you know, I put it off and put it off and put it off because I just hate the doctor. I avoid them like the plague. I didn't go for years. And my aunt, you know, I told my aunt how I was feeling. I told her about the thoughts I was having. And she said, you need to go to the doctor before, you know, it gets worse. And um, depression runs pretty bad in my family. So, you know, I seen what it does, you know, and how it affects some of the people in my family that I love. And, you know, I knew it wasn't as bad is what I've seen, but it was pretty unbearable. Any depression is unbearable, no matter what the scale. And I just knew I wanted the pain to go away. So I went with my aunt to the doctors and they put me on um, Prozac, which I've been on for months now. And I feel amazing. I mean, I still have days where I feel bad, but it's, it, I mean, it's nothing like it was before, like nothing. I mean, not even a fraction of how I felt before. And, um, I'm actually on the lowest dosage, but, um, as of recent, I've started feeling a little, you know, off again. So I am going to request an increase in my medicine just cause I never want to feel like that again. And, um, uh, the other thing I was telling my doctor is, um, I mean, I'm pretty sure no guys are going to watch this, but I'm just saying this is some very detailed stuff I'm about to share with everybody, women stuff. But, um, I told my doctor, I literally got my period once a year, twice if I was lucky. And it's been like that since I was a teenager, um, so I told my doctor and she's like, oh, it could be your thyroid. So 
you know, tested my thyroid that came back normal. So she just thought, oh, you know, we'll just put you on some birth control and it'll regulate it. And she did a pelvic exam and a pap smear and that all came back normal. But I thought it was weird that they didn't do any other tests. So, you know, I just was like, oh, well, I'm not a doctor, so I wouldn't know. They they would know better than me. So I just didn't think anything of it. And she said, you know, take it, you know, to regulate your period. Keep trying to have a baby or if you want. Or if you are really serious about having a baby and nothing's happening, come back and we'll help you. So I went back, I'd say... A month and a half ago but this was a different doctor and she seemed concerned that I could have um, a condition called PCOS which I've always thought I've had because I have a lot of the the symptoms and I told her that I brought it up to the other doctor and she said that I didn't look like the type of person who would have it and you know like back then with the first doctor, you know, I didn't, I was like, oh, you know, who am I to tell her, you know, that she doesn't know what she's talking about, you know, but she's a doctor and I'm just a patient. So I went to this new doctor and she's telling me what I already thought. And she said that we were going to do some tests and, you know, wait. And, um, she would, you know, just keep trying. But she said in the meantime, Try to lose weight, exercise, eat healthier, and, um, you know, keep, t like, start taking vitamins. She prescribed me prenatal vitamins to prepare my body for, you know, me trying to get pregnant, obviously. So I've been on that for a while, and I was on, and I'm still on my antidepressants. Um, and then I got word from the doctor, and it came back that I did have... PCOS, which I was Anyways, pretty devastated about. Well, when I found out, I called up my mom, and I was crying, and I was telling her, and, you know, she was pretty upset, too, um, because me and my fiancé have been trying for five years and nothing, and, you know, this is the one thing I really want, you know, and I've been wanting it for a while, especially, you know, me and my fiance both wanted it for a while and you know it's depressing when you know you think there could be a chance and nothing happens but you still have your hopes held high because you're like oh you know you know the first doctor said there was nothing wrong so I was like oh you know there's nothing wrong with me I can get pregnant you know maybe I just gotta lose some weight you know so I didn't think, you know, I just kept trying. I'm like, oh, you know, I should get ready soon and, you know, keep trying, whatever. And then you see people around you getting pregnant and having kids and you're happy for them. I mean, it's, I mean, I would be lying if I said there wasn't a part of me who was like, you know, upset about it because you see them with their babies and it's like the one thing you want and everybody but you is getting it you know and it's upsetting and it makes you want to just give up you know when you're trying so hard and nothing's happening and I guess I just so, got now the doctor said you know I've been doing research and stuff like that on PCOS and they you know I have to change my diet it's not just to get pregnant but it's to prevent things from happening that are linked or go hand in hand with PCOS, which is heart disease and diabetes. And I've heard a couple other things that you can get with PCOS. Um, I, like I said, I'm new to this. So if I'm wrong, please let me know. Um, I heard you could also get cancer with this. I'm not sure. You know, I don't, I'm still you know, reading up on this, I, you know, like I said, I'm new, I don't really know, I'm lo I feel lost a lot of the time with this, and I guess I could just use some kind of support system, people who know, who 
you know, can tell me, you know, or help me figure out what is right for me, what I should do. Because, you know, there's some people who have been with this longer. There's some people that are new. Maybe they're in the same boat as me and they just want to feel like they're not alone. Because I know, even though I know there's people out there who are going through the same thing, I do feel alone. Like, you know, because this is, I'm the first person in my family to have this. Nobody else in my family has had this ever, I don't think. Um, and I don't know, it's just really hard. And I'm still trying to conceive. I've actually been on a diet, or I guess lifestyle change, I would call it, for about a month. And I don't have a scale. I know it sounds weird, but I don't. And I'm actually getting one this week. And the last time I weighed myself, I was 209. Um, and I'm in a size 15, sometimes 16. And um, they were tight before. Like, I thought I was going to have to. Actually, I'm size 15. I thought I was going to have to go up to a 16. Because the pants were tight even at a 15. And... Ever since I've been, you know, changing my eating habits and eating less and not snacking on junk food and actually eating right, um, I have gotten slimmer. My stomach has went down a lot and my pants are loose now. Um, my face is a lot slimmer. I have more energy. Um, I feel lighter. I definitely feel lighter. And... Another thing I noticed when this is that the things that I used to eat before, like chocolate pie and stuff like that, now I notice it makes me really sick. And I don't know if it's because my body's getting used to eating like apples and healthier things, but I notice the things that are really high in sugar or fat that I used to eat a lot of in the past make me very sick now like to the point where I want to just throw up so I, I I mean there's times where I'm like oh okay well, I'll have an ice cream today but that's as far as it goes I can't tell you the last time I had potatoes or white bread or pasta I don't all that stuff is cut out um so I I mean it's been very hard to do this because I love food so much but I'm doing this for me, and I'm doing this for the baby that I want to have. And, you know, if this is what I got to do, then I'm going to do it, you know. I'm not going to just, you know, give up, you know, because that would be on me. You know, I won't have a baby because I don't want to change, you know, stuff that, you know, is so easily fixable. You know, just eating right and stuff like that, you know. So I'm going to do what I got to do and, um, just let me know what you guys think and your opinions. If anybody is going through this or has been going through this, can give me any tips or advice. I would really, really appreciate it. And, um, I'm going to start doing more vlogs and more updates and letting you guys know how much weight I lost. So hopefully this week or this later on this week coming up, um, I will get a scale and I will be able to let you know how much weight I lost. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for listening. Bye.